Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of statistics. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us, consider 10 observations, x1, x2, x3 till x10, such that summation of i equals 1 to 10 xi minus alpha is equal to 2 and the other one it tells us summation of i equals to 1 to 10 xi minus beta whole squared equals 40 where the question tells us alpha and beta are positive integers and the question is further telling us let the mean and the variance of the observations be 6 over 5 and 84 over 25 respectively. The question is asking us to figure out what is the value of beta over alpha. So we have to find that. And if I talk about the answer choices that we have been given here, the options are 2, 1, 5 over 2, and 3 over 2. So we have to find the correct answer for this value of beta over alpha. Let's try to understand how to solve this question further. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on an everyday basis. And it is free for you, but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible. So you understand them very easily. Let's talk about the solution now. So I have been given two conditions. Let's analyze them first. So summation of i equals 1 to 10 xi minus alpha. What do you mean by this here is if I put the values of xi as 1 to 10, I get x1 minus alpha plus x2 minus alpha plus x3 minus alpha. Like this, I'm adding 10 terms till x10 minus alpha. So what do you understand from this is I'm basically adding x1 plus x2 plus x3, all the 10 observations till x10 minus alpha. It's getting subtracted 10 times because you have 10 terms. So it's basically minus 10 alpha. So you have this idea and summation of this xi minus alpha it's given to us as 2. So instead of this I can write this as 2. So from here if I try to find out I have been given mean. So let's try to analyze that. So 2 plus 10 alpha it's nothing but summation of or sum of all the 10 observations that we have. Now once I have that with me I need to figure out alpha so i have my mean given to us as 6 over 5 but if i talk about mean mean is nothing but summation of all the observations that we have till x10 divided by number of observations that is 10 and mean in this case we have been given as 6 over 5 so you get from here 6 over 5 is equals to summation of these 10 observations is 10 alpha plus 2 divided by 10. So from here, if I try to solve this further, let's see what I get. So 10 gets multiplied with 6, you get 60 over 5, which is 12 is equals to 10 alpha plus 2. 2 goes on the other side becomes minus 2. So 12 minus 2 is 10 alpha. So 10 alpha in this case is 10 and from here I get alpha is 1. So we have the value of alpha with us and that comes out to become 1. Let's talk about finding beta now. So for beta, I have to use the other condition that is given to me. So let's see that as well. Summation of i equals to 1 to 10. And it is given to me xi minus beta, the whole square. So if I solve this, I get x1 minus beta, the whole square. x2 minus beta, the whole square. x3 minus beta, the whole square. Till x10 minus beta, the whole square. So we get this 10 terms. If I square them, I get x1 square minus 2 x1 beta plus beta square. x2 square minus 2 x2 beta 
प्लस बीटा स्क्वायर एक्स थ्री स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स थ्री बीटा प्लस बीटा स्क्वायर एंड लाइक दिस द लास्ट टर्म वुड बी एक्स टेन स्क्वायर माइनस टू एक्स वन बीटा प्लस बीटा स्क्वायर नाउ वंस आई हैव दिस विथ मी लेट्स ट्राई टू arrange all the like terms together so squares if i arrange them together i get x1 square x2 square x3 squared till x10 square so that's our first list from minus 2 and beta if i take out common for all of these terms which are present i'm going to get x1 plus x2 plus x3 till x10 so sum of the 10 terms And plus, if I see beta square, it's added the same values added ten times, so it becomes ten beta square. So I get this expression. Now let's try to solve this further. So I know from this expression that x one square plus x two square plus x three square plus till x ten square minus two beta. Some of the ten observations. That was nothing but two plus ten alpha, and alpha we already know it is one. So sum of the ten observations which we have till x ten, it was two plus ten alpha, and alpha we know it is one, so it becomes two plus ten, which is twelve. So I get from here twelve and ten beta square. So from here I get sum of squares of all the observations that we have. Minus twenty four beta plus ten beta square, and this entire thing it's given to us in the question. It is forty. So we get this is basically forty. So from here I get x one square plus x two square plus x three square plus till x ten square. So sum of squares of all the observations here, it is nothing but. Twenty four beta goes on the other side. Ten beta square also goes on the other side. You get forty plus twenty four beta minus ten beta square. So you get this idea. Now, if I talk about variance, variance is nothing but summation of x i square divided by n minus x bar whole square. so that is the idea for variance so sum of squares of all the observations that we have here divided by number of observations minus x bar square so we know already that is nothing but 40 plus 24 beta minus 10 beta square divided by n n is nothing but number of observations and here we have 10 observations and x bar is nothing but your mean value mean is given to us here in the question and that's 6 over 5 so basically it becomes 36 over 25 so you have this idea now once i have this with me variance it's given to me in the question also so variance it's given to me as 84 over 25 so let's write it here 84 over 25 so if i take minus 36 over 25 on the other side becomes plus 36 over 25 and this if i try to solve it i get 40 plus 24 beta minus 10 beta square and this 10 also gets multiplied here so what i can do here is i can cancel some terms so 5 two times and 5 five times 84 plus 36 i get 110 and 120 so 120 into 2 divided by 5 is equals to 40 plus 24 beta minus 10 beta square So taking everything on one side, this if I try to cancel out five twenty four times twenty four into two forty eight, and I get ten beta square minus twenty four beta plus forty eight and minus forty, which is eight equals zero. If I cancel out this with two, I get five beta square minus twelve beta plus four equals to zero. So let's try to solve this further. I know five into four is twenty, and which is basically ten into two. So from here I get five beta square minus ten beta minus two beta plus four equals zero. So if I see from here five beta common, beta minus two minus two common, beta minus two equals zero. So I get from here five beta minus two, beta minus two equals zero. So beta in this case becomes two over five or two. 
So I get two values for beta, either two over five or two. So I have been asked to find the value of beta over alpha. Alpha, we have got only one single value. So it becomes two over five over one or two over one. So from here, I get two over five or two as the answer. Let's check the answer choices. So beta over alpha, it is not given two over five in any of the answer choices. The other answer we got it was as two. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions, which deals with the ideas of using the concepts of mean and variance in statistics. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic that we are going to take. And we'll be continuing our series of questions on JWE mains from this year of January and February 2024. I'll see you again tomorrow. If you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in this preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.